What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. And today we got a special video uh, going on today. Today marks one year since I've been with YouTube. One, se one year since I've been with YouTube. And it's just crazy how far I came in a year. I, I never thought I would get this far in such a quick time. I thought it was going to take me forever. But, you know... Mark's here, and I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. And as for that, we got a one-year anniversary special video for today. Um, not much enough, obviously. I've done that too much lately, not just because it's just so good, it's so good. Um, but I had a request on our uh, on our last video for Peninsula Corridor. It's a pretty nice uh, route. Pretty nice route. They got here on a pretty lengthy route too. They have like twenty something stations. I had a request to do the gallery cab car, so that's what we'll be doing today. Uh, pretty challenging with the different types of um, braking systems, three braking systems, automatic, dynamic, park, and with the automatic, the four levels of braking. Pretty cool. See how we'll be able to control that. I wanted to run in a a um. Baby bullet uh, version, like it was the night time. I think it was 381 service 381 somewhere down here. Oh, there it goes. North Mountain Baby Bullet Service from San Jose, Duran to San Francisco. Alright, cool. Unlock those doors here. Oh look! Um, oh, I haven't played Peninsula Corridor in a while. I forgot what this is called. You guys let me know in the comments. I know it's a cap car, but I'm not sure off the top of my head. But right, let's set up shop here. Um, engine run, generator field, fuel pump, headlights bright, crossing light. I'm not sure what that does. Put that on, cause why not? And put that on. Put that in. Rush handle in. Put that forward. Put the cutoff valve in. in. Automatic brake. To release. And sound the horn twice. Just because. Why not? The interior horn is one of my favorites. The way it sounds. Just sounds really, you know, just fire in general. Exterior horn action. We're about to leave here in a couple seconds here. Uh, okay. Right, one thing I don't like is that the bell on the older version of the Train Sim World used to be the up uh, button on the directional pad to turn off the bell, but you gotta manually do it now. I can always switch back to the old controls, I don't like that. Um, all right, time to go here. The doors are about to close. All righty. Let's go. A yellow light at 10 miles an hour in like 5 seconds once we pass this um, once we pass this signal here much 10, uh, 10 miles an hour no? wait I always have 10 miles per hour speed limit Speed limit here. Let's see where we're stopping at. Mountain View, Palo Alto, Redwood City, Hillsdale, 
Melbray, Second Street, San Francisco. Perfect, nice express. For this big line, I'm, I'm. I know it goes more than a train simulator for PC. They have it going, extending like a couple of stations, going this way. It's still starting at the same um, place, San Francisco. Time to restart this service. Uh, huh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard the 544 Express service to San Francisco Station. This is the express train to San Francisco Station. Making all express stops. Stopping at Mountain View, Palo Alto, Menlo Park. Redwood City, Hillsdale, Millbright, 22nd Street, and San Francisco. Once again, stopping at Mountain View, Palo Alto, Menlo Park, Redwood City, Hillsdale, Millbright, 22nd Street, and San Francisco. Next stop, Mountain View. Please have all tickets out for inspection. Thank you for choosing Caltrain. Up some speed here, 40 mile per hour speed limit. Fix that real quick. I hate that. It always. Oh wait, no, no, no. It always finds a way of turning back on. I don't like that. This makes the wheels spaz out. So now it's much better. Slow down here. Selection of trains in this route. The cab, the two cab cars, the two diesel, and that's for and the uh, diesel switcher and the Pacific SD40-2, I believe it's. That's what it is. I'm pretty sure. It's the same locomotive from CSX, the same one from Clinchfield, the same one from. Yeah, that's the same one. that horn. I don't know, something about it. So yeah, we'll see how I'll catch you guys when we're approaching the
busy today. Guessing he's happy in a rush for uh, Catherine in California. All right, now um, quarter to six. This thing too keeps turning on and off by itself. Apply. There we go. This is Mountain View Station. Start rolling off if we're on a 0.5% uh, slope, so I don't want it to start rolling off. This is Mountain View. Next station is Palo Alto. Not sure how the announcements are, or if there even is announcements on these trains in um, California. Uh, you guys could probably tell me that. I would love to go to California one day and experience Caltrain. Be pretty nice. It would also be pretty nice is to operate a service coming into this side of the station. I don't think I've done any service, or I don't even know if there is any service coming into this side of the station. The doors are about to close. How the passengers just despawn and respawn in different locations. and turn that bell off. Enjoy operating this this route. I haven't operated it in, operated it in a while, but pretty fire. Just start operating more often. Oh, I want to operate the cab car on this one too. The cab car on that one. The horn on that one is also really good. I like it. The horn on all American trains, I love, absolutely adore. Some German horns too, um, some British horns, uh, I know there's one, I'm not sure which one is it, there's one that I really like, a uh, non-American group. go to California in real life, I would totally sit here right behind the operator. Or, I know downstairs, I don't like them doing the animation for me, but I like to walk down by myself and open these doors, open those. I would sit... I like sitting on the bottom of trains. Um, was that one train for Long Island Railroad? The EMD... When I goes to like Port Jefferson or like Montauk. Any or Oyster Bay, any of the not electrified routes. I'm 
the wrong number very good. I know it starts with EMD D something. Four miles already. Five five point nine. Six on all of the uh, the trains and drives that I have. Some of them I know the safety system don't like. Come back to more fun the safety systems. Where would I know the safety systems? What's that one? Uh, Gatwick Express from that rush hour route. I know the safety systems for that, and I also know the safety systems for this coastway, which they use the similar locomotive. Yeah, the rest of the Vigilance and the WS, I think it is. Is that once you decrease speed and then quickly increase it after it takes a good a good 30 seconds or so for it to start picking back up so, I'm not comfortable with that but hey it's whatever so, as long as I know what I'm doing as of operating it which clearly is pretty straightforward. Just pulling up here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Palo Alto Station. Oh, did not see that. No. In a way it works because the rear of the train. Oh hey, we're still moving. Even though the emergency was pulled. Ha, huh, that's funny. And now we're slowing down. Another one. Pretty busy. Pretty sure this has to be Caltrain's um rush hour. PM rush hour. This is Palo Alto Station. The next stop is Menlo Park. Menlo Park. Oh no. Oh. Correction, ladies and gentlemen. Next stop is Redwood City. Next stop on this train is Redwood City. Yellow. Oh, disappeared. Perfect. Redwood City. Hellsdale. 
Obrey, 22nd Street, San Francisco. Perfection. Hey, to be fair, I pulled in another way. Nothing sticking out the back, nothing, nothing sticking out in the front. So we're good. We're good. We can hear um probably LAFD. Well not LAFD because it's not Los Angeles, so it's probably uh is it Palo Alto? Palo Alto F D. to go. I'll see you guys there. Just enjoy the nice ride.
when they put like those metal chains on like buses when they start or, like not even buses like any vehicle truck bus tractor trailer car people put chains so they their vehicle don't slip and slide that's exactly what it sounds like Gentlemen, this is Redwood City. Uh, no. All right, it's whatever. This is Redwood City. Next stop on the train will be Hillsdale. And wait, kind of like it's kind of like it doesn't matter because no one can get on. It's not. It's not like that's a passenger car. Looks fine to me. Time to go already. No, it was quick. train to run I can't do that must be professional five point one miles this time I believe the whole map on the game at least is 40 miles or 41, I believe. That's what um, Dovetail Games had said. That was kind of a long time ago. I don't know if that's the correct number that's the, that they said. But, yeah. Well, miles is a lot for one of these. Routes is pretty cool though, I mean, the longer the journey, the better it'll be. The more fun you'll probably have. Like on Metro North. Metro North DLC was pretty short. Like, I don't know why they made it to North White Plains. They could have just made it to Southeast. If they made it to Southeast, then I would have been happy. Because, like, that's literally the whole M7A. That's as far as the M7A goes. Can't go up to the side because it's not electrified up there. The uh, P32 Genesis can go up there from the Grand Central like the whole way. That'd be a long ride. Too hard, probably. I'm just going express from Grand Central to North White Plains. Now we're getting to the uh, steep parts of the line. If I ever go to California, I must take a cow train. Must this is a pretty cool experience in game. Back and free. I back and free. Have a good one. Good experience in California with the cow train. It'll be good to explore another state. Another state's train. Other than New York City, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Those things. Clickety clack down the tracks. What was that track? Oh, that's just empty and exciting. Down there. Clickety clickety clacks. Wheels clattering against the rail the rails.
like this view. Looks nice. Now we're turning. Looks like look like we're tilting, tilting for a second. Turn that back on. So I don't want to slow down. I like this view. Let me try like a new view real quick. Let me see. I might do that for a thumbnail. That's like a different, not a different one as opposed to the ones I usually do with like the train up with the camera up high like this. Then the whole train supposed to down here. Like a pretty good one. Undercarriage details for the look of the train. Four miles. Brakes on real quick. So a teeny bit. So you can make a nice comfortable stop. Start doing some freight too. If you guys want to see some freight, let me know. I got all the freight routes that TSW has to offer. Besides the Sherman one that they just released a couple months ago. It's the only one I don't other than that I have CSX, Clinchfield, and New Pacific. Both from the Utah um, one and the Union Pacific on this one as well. And the new um, one that's coming out next week, which is the announced that today I believe they released it. In the next week, uh, April 12th. Um, once I saw that, I was planning on doing a first look video. So, yeah, I can, um, I'll be for that so you don't miss out on the first look on the channel. I'm trying to get that out really quick because my last first look video was the first look video on, the ch on YouTube in general at that, at that given moment. Now there's like a bunch of them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hillsdale Station. Oh, he's walking really close to the platform, buddy. Don't slip. Let's see. Right here. There we go. Perfect stop. Perfect. 500 action points. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hillsdale Station. The next stop on this train will be Millbrae. Alright, just get that little bit of XP. Mm, nah. Oh well. there in roughly about seven to eight minutes 6.4 miles to go what was it what were we talking about right that um that new uh horse horse uh horseshoe curve i think that's what you call it um definitely going to those free only ones that i really know is like the nsf csx union pacific Uh, that other one, I'm not sure what that one is called. Yeah, those are like the three main ones I know. Union Pacific, CSX, and then the NSF. Oh, and I know the um, Canadian Pacific. I'm afraid. I also have that one. The uh, Oakville subdivision for Canada. 
that in the car. I have that. I don't know, I think it's still X. CSX, Oakville Subdivision from Canada. Union Pacific, both for Utah and this route. It already comes with this, so that's good. First look video on the horseshoe curve. Drop your seat, subscribe, and when next week comes, be sure to have the noting down so I'll miss that first video. Uh, it's gonna be pretty straightforward, honestly, because the uh, a lot of the a lot of the freight trains in America uses one of the same three locomotives. I think it's the ACC 4400CW locomotive, if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. I don't know, there's some. Tell me to mind me in the comments about what the correct term is. And then we got GP38 2 locomotive, and then the SD40 2 locomotive. Those are like the main three. I know those three are on CSX, and then the C44 CW is and C40 dash twos is on the Pacific and then the AC 4400 CW is on the Porsche because that's coming next week and I think I saw something else I'm not sure if it's a locomotive or some code number I'm not sure it said something about ESC4 something along those lines I saw on the TSW roadmap. If that is a train, then I'm pretty, pretty excited to see what that is. If that is the train for sure, then I'll probably do the first look on that. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Just stay tuned. Standing at one of the stations. Any station, Amtrak platform, Caltrain platform, anything. And a passenger service and change is going on like 80 miles an hour. Well that's Caltrain speed limit. Now Amtrak is the more. It's like I believe like 125 for the uh for the ACS 64 and then like 150 for like the SL. That's pretty cool. They should add them as it was a seller express, the old livery and the new livery, that would be pretty cool. Like as an update to like Boston Square and like update the uh like give them give the give them another update because if that was the case for a cell express as a DLC, like I'm pretty sure it'll be one stop literally after Boston South would be proper so that's not fun at all. Oh, that's like that one that one round. With the uh, LG, the LG, flex, something like that. Well, that that train's fine though. I like the way that train is set up. How you have to switch from panographic to rail. Uh, look, the best thing of all is it goes like you allowed to go 200 miles an hour, and like there's like 40 miles in between the station. The sad thing is that I wish there was more stations on that route. Oh my, I'm going to here like... Talking about a storm. And we're approaching the station. We're good. Let's see about that French route, like it's um, like it's an amazing route. I love operating it. I haven't operated it in a while, but I love operating it. The only sad thing is that there's three stations on the route. I'm pretty sure there's way more in real life. Would have been pretty cool to have all those stations. Such a long journey. I mean, 
the route itself on the on the game is like 50 something miles, but it'll be pretty cool to have some more, some more stations. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Millbrae Station. This station kind of reminds me of uh, Jamaica. Jamaica Station on the Long Island Railroad. It's like it's just, it looks like a it's like a main hub. Now let's have that service so it doesn't start moving. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Millbrae Station. The next stop on this train will be 22nd Street. Yeah, like, like, Jamaica Station is like Caltrain's main hub, like second main hub, like the first or second would probably be like the first and last stop, San Jose Durion and San Francisco. I'm pretty sure it goes past, well not, not pretty sure, I know it goes past uh, San Jose Durion. Yeah, it's like Jamaica Station, it's pretty cool. Like the more like beachy vibe in a way. Or the like the trees, like Jamaica Station got that city vibe, you know, it's like right next, it's in the city, it's part of the city. Oh, airport over there, probably the plane just took off. More chill over here and like the more city vibe of Jamaica, it's pretty cool. Let this uh, engineer stretch his legs real quick. Go for a nice walk. Not getting on my train. I think. I thought you need to go someplace. No. Okay. Have a nice day. No, I'm just gonna stand there, wait for the next train. I'll get you there fast, ma'am. I promise. No delays. I guess she doesn't want to go on my train. That's not very nice. Let's get up out of here. Jesus, 11 miles. Holy moly. All right, let's get, let's get cranking then if that's the case. It'll be pretty quick though, cause 80 miles an hour. To, uh, for 11 miles, it's pretty, pretty fast. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, please have all tickets out for inspection. Going around for a, for a second round of ticket collecting. Please make sure your ticket is valid with a valid purchase date. Once the conductor has reached your seat, please present him with your valid ticket. Thank you for riding with Caltrain. Ladies and gentlemen, Caltrain would like to remind you that walking in between cars is illegal and is a crime that can be fine. Also, it's for your safety. Please do not walk between cars if you need to walk between cars. Make sure it is only for emergency purposes only, or if you need to get to a different car for whatever reason, please make sure to do it at the next scheduled station. Once again, walking between cars is illegal and is a crime. You could be fined. Please do not do it unless an emergency or directed to by the train crew. Thank you for riding the Cal train. See you guys once we get closer.
finally, at last. Ladies and gentlemen, this is 22nd Street. This is 22nd Street Station. The next and last stop on this train will be San Francisco. Once again, last stop on this train will be San Francisco. Next and last stop, San Francisco. We're actually here like a minute early. Almost. Like the station. Not underground, but like, in a way, kind of, in, under a highway. Like, at least that seems like a highway. Cool. Time to go. The doors are about to close. Perfection. Let's just go back in here. Might be a good idea. too fast. I knew I have been operating this in a while, so at least now I know it's at Moss Power Speed Limit coming in San Francisco. Moss Power Speed Limit coming out of San Jose Darion. For some reason, not on this one for some reason, but yeah.
What does that say? East 125th Street. Ooh. 125th Street? Lexington Avenue? Oh, no. It's San Francisco. Imagine, though. This is San Francisco Terminal. This is the last and final stop on this train. Please make sure you have all your personal belongings. If you have hooked up a bike inside the bike car, please make sure to let a crew member know in order to release your bike safely to not damage any of our property and you walk away with a nice bike. And this is the last stop on this train. This is San Francisco Terminal. Please make sure you have all your personal belongings. This train will be going back to San Jose de Rion. trains do into emergency off no off neutral off off this is still bro oh that guy that's why Let's see what we get. Gold medal. Hopefully. Hey, gold medal. Gold medal. Nice shiny gold medal. Nancy La Corridor. Gallery cab car CT97. I did forget it about the ACT part, but I knew it was gallery cab car. Beautiful shiny gold medal. Running a baby bullet service. Uh, yeah, it was pretty interesting. I haven't really uh, did Caltrain in a while. It's pretty nice to relive um, that operation again. Um, I'll do another couple of Caltrain videos on the channel. I'm trying to do a little bit of everything I have on TSW as far as DLCs. I um, already did Long Island Road Amtrak, MBTA, Metro North like three times. That's just too fire, you know? Um, yeah, that's today, that's today's video, um, our beautiful one year anniversary video, um, let's see, I do have planned, don't want to spoil anything, do I have planned, uh, flight? Simulator video on the weekend. Not sure what, when I'm gonna do it. Either Friday when I come home, or Saturday or Sunday. Not sure. Just stay tuned with the noties on, so you don't miss that video or any other random awesomeness on the channel. Um, also, like I said before, uh, next week Thursday, look out for that um, first look video. Hopefully, they release it uh, like 12 on the dot, as every other DLC. I don't know what happened with the Harlem Mind of Stan release. I would start up for like 30 minutes past 12. It still wasn't released, but hopefully they release it soon. It hits 12 on next week, Thursday. But hey guys, if you like what you see, subscribe if you're new. Subscribe, leave a like, um, leave a comment. Watch your favorite part of the video. Um, once again, thank you guys for getting me this far on our one year anniversary on the channel. 
Um, thank you for all the views and subscribers. I'm like at 113 subscribers now. Channel keeps growing every day with views and subscribers. I want to say thank you. Um, like I said, I have a couple videos planned, so keep the noties on. Um, appreciate all the support. It's your boy Suspect. Peace out. Yeah.